So this is the my video for Bonaire underneath the water. On our first night we went snorkeling and this is a southern stingray, that's a tarpon. I just faded out of the picture. But he was only about fifteen feet out of the water in the water. A little snapper swimming along. Always being silly. Pretty little sea sponge, some soft corals, some hard corals. The landscape was very diverse underneath the water. A large male spotlight pair of fish. Whenever he swims, you can see how he looks like a little parrot. Establishing buoyancy was a little bit difficult at first, but we all finally mastered it towards the end. Here is a female spotlight parrotfish just eating some coral, and later it will be pooping sand. Here is a flounder. There was actually several flounders. This one was taken probably five feet underneath the water. This is the salt pier, just looking up from probably about 25, 30 feet. Here is a French angelfish around some soft coral. So pretty. The colorings are really beautiful. This is me holding a really large conch shell. Tabby actually found it, and she was so nice to take a picture of it with me. Here, you can see how large it is with my hand. Here are some blue tangs around some stag corn coral. There wasn't a lot of stag, cor stag corn coral, but this was a really neat thing to see. Just all these blue tangs keeping together and go around the coral. There was a ton of them. This is a squid. This was the first squid that I saw. Thankfully, Tabby spotted it for us. She was my dive buddy that day, but it's smaller than I thought it would be, but on the coral reef, the life underneath the sea isn't as large as you would think, at least not at first, but it's so beautiful. And you really don't have to go far to see any life at all. You can see underneath these rocks where there's tons of fish and they are trying to swim against the current. The current isn't strong, but in the shallows you can definitely feel it trying to throw you against the rocks a little bit. So in this video I'm hurrying up because we are about to see the one thing that I wanted to see more than anything else. And if you look over there on the right, you will see a spotted eagle ray. We actually saw three of these while we were in Bonaire. Um, two were close by, but unfortunately a lot of my videos got corrupted. However, I still had this one that I want to share with you. I was really excited. After we saw everything, we would do like a little happy dance. These are two four-eyed butterfly fish. They're made at pairs, and see that that one's hurrying along. That one's gonna follow along with it. Make sure that it doesn't get too far. There's a small snapper. Is that squid again? We actually did see a pod of squid. That was really cool. There was about five or six in a little V formation. And you can see how the coral does sustain a lot of life, but unfortunately a lot of it is bleached. But not all of it is, and it's a relatively healthy reef. 
but you just have to be careful with your fins and make sure that you don't cause any more harm to come. And establishing buoyancy will definitely help with that. Bethany's holding her fins. Make sure she doesn't kick the coral. Because it's really easy to do. Those fins really protrude out. But there's so much to see. Now this is another probably stop like parafish. Parafish are everywhere. Here is a crab that we saw at Helmet Hooker. Um, I had brought my dive light along with us, so I was trying to get it one of the holes, and that's where I saw it. Now, here Tabby is taking a video at the Helmet Hooker. I think that she had my GoPro, but um, she took some pretty good videos. And there's a lot of divers down there. Over there on the right, you can see a large tarpon. Before I better fish again. They're really cute. Here is a lionfish. They're really tasty. Definitely go to Blue Cactus if you can, because they make some really good lionfish burgers. Here is underneath the salt pier, you see a file fish over there on the right. Now, you can probably barely see this, but there is what looks like a sea, sea snake, but it's actually a spotted eel. Here's a spotlight pair of fish, you can see a little red dot above its gills. Here's a sand diver. They're really cool, they're everywhere, so just keep an eye out, you can definitely see them while you're in there. Here's a spotted drum. I like these little guys. They're really pretty and very fluid. Here is some sea, sun sea anemone and some Christmas tree worms. Some anemone. Um, here is a white moray at the very center of the page. You can see a better picture of them, but his top fin is actually like a lime green color. It's really cool to see. Here is a lionfish around some plate coral. Just some more coral. And there's a little fish over there. Another spotlight pair of fish and male. They're really pretty and everywhere. And some fire coral. Here is a large free swimming um, green moray eel. This is taken pretty deep, probably about 65 70 feet. Here is another eel that's hiding in the middle of this coral. It's like brown and green. This is a trumpet fish. They're everywhere as well. And they're really pretty. They hang on the soft coral a lot. And as you can see, there's coral everywhere. There's so much to look at. Fire coral is everywhere, unfortunately. And you just have to make sure you keep away. Now there are some that I couldn't get a video of or a picture of, but this is a um, flamingo tongue. Saw that. This is a frogfish. They're really rare, but on our last dive, I saw one. This is a green frogfish. Um, they're really rare, but on this last dive, we saw two, a golden one and a green one, and they were so pretty. Um, I did see two octopus, and so they're out there, so if you see one, don't go really deep to go find one. This is a scorpion fish. They blend in really well. And this is a seahorse. I actually saw one. I was looking at one, but I didn't see one, unfortunately. And this is a tiger's tail. Dr. Sabo and I, nor his wife, wasn't sure what it was, but we asked the dive guide. And this is a turtle. We saw a couple of them. They weren't very large, probably like 